Hello, I am Itzia Durham, and this is my final presentation for Bible Class 112, The Synoptic Gospels. So, the Synoptic Gospels are Matthew, Mark, and Luke in relation to John. Now, the word synoptic means um, seeing together, or same view, or through the same lens, which is why the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, share um, a lot of the similar parables, um, same vocabulary and miracles, um, whereas John is told a little bit differently through a different perspective. And we can deduce that uh, the Gospels were written prior to 70 AD because none of them mention the destruction of Jerusalem, uh, which is an explicit prophecy by Christ, and none mention its fulfillment. And so the book of Acts was written between 70 and 90 AD, and the Gospel of Luke was written prior to that, and then the book of Mark was written before that. So we can trace them all back to before 70 AD. Um, I'd like to focus on the uniqueness of John's Gospel in relation to the synoptics. So John's Gospel tells the story of Jesus um, in a different way than the synoptics do. So even if uh, the stories are similar, he tells them in a different way and for different purposes. And in the, in the synoptics, we can see um, Jesus teaching through parables and uh, certain miracles like, for example, exorcisms are really prominent throughout the synoptics, whereas in John, exorcisms aren't mentioned. And John records um, lengthy teachings and discourses by Jesus um, rather than parables. And so the synoptics do not contradict John. They all together present the same Jesus in every significant way. Only John's perspective is distinct from the synoptic writers in some ways. And so John is known as the gospel of Jesus' deity. That's not to say that the synoptics don't also plainly present the deity of Jesus. So when we say this, we mean, we mean it in a matter of perspective. So John's perspective of Jesus' deity is different than in the synoptics. And so the synoptics begin with Jesus as a man and look back at Israel's history or Jesus' family tree and genealogy, where they begin with um, his preaching ministry. So that means they start with Jesus as a man and proceed to show his glory. So as B.B. Warfield puts it, their common perspective is from below upward, so from man to God from human to glory. Whereas John's perspective is from above downward, so from God to man, God became man. Um, so John begins in eternity past with the word who is always with God and from eternity was God. Then proceeds to the incarnation. So he says, the word was made flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we beheld his glory. So God becomes flesh, comes live um, and comes and lives among us, and we behold his glory. Um, and then he moves on to the life of Jesus. So the synoptics set out to tell us that this Jesus is God. And in contrast, John tells us this God became Jesus. God became man. He was in glory and came down to us. Um, and that's really what John wants us to keep in mind is ultimately the fact that God, Jesus is like no one, no other man. And Jesus is God placing himself on display and, um, he really wants us to marvel at the fact that um, our great God, the creator of the universe, became flesh um, and came down to rescue us in the form of a man, to give us um, a savior and a way to be reconciled to the Lord. 
Um, and so that's some of the main differences between the book of John and the Synoptic Gospels. Thank you.